other married people with kids can empathize with the deep envy I feel towards you single people, okay? You, you don't know how free you are. You can eat an edible at 2 p.m., <laughs> go to the aquarium and watch the jellyfish go back and forth. <laughs> you don't gotta bring a giant bag with little Ziploc baggies of goldfish and toy cell phones. You can just go with what's in your pockets. People, you don't know what it's like to eat a cold quesadilla <laughs> that your toddler threw on the floor <laughs> because it's easier to put it in your mouth <laughs> than travel to the trash <laughs> while you repeat to yourself over and over that child abuse is illegal. <laughs> this one time I hooked up with this dude and in the middle of kissing, I felt the responsibility to stop and say, hey, I should really let you know now before we go any further that I'm on my period. <laughs> and he was like, oh, well, then let's make a fucking mess, Allie. That is the most romantic thing anybody has ever said to me. I think about it when I feel down and ugly and no good. All I have to do is remember that there was once a man out there who was willing to yank out my tampon and replace it with his dick. It made me feel beautiful. Beautiful! Nephew is 25 years old and he is dating this Architect, my goodness, she, she is so smart and interesting, successful and charismatic, and we all hope that he marries her one day. But he calls me up earlier this week and he was like, you know, Auntie Allie, I think I'm gonna break up with her. Yeah, because she's a boss at work. And so she thinks it's okay to come home and boss me around. I was like, Oh, <laughs> well, that shit's gonna happen to you no matter what. <laughs> whether she a boss, whether she employed or unemployed, once you get married and have kids, your wife gonna boss you around. <laughs> and you would know that if you watched House Hunters. <laughs> House Hunters is a show on HGTV where a couple pretends that there's a decision to be made together. <laughs> Young men in particular, they don't like women with money, power, and respect because they know you can't tell that kind of woman what to do. <laughs> Young men want a woman that's chill. That's a quality in a partner that they seek out and brag about. Oh, bro, I'm dating this new chick. She's so chill. She doesn't give a fuck about what I do because she's chill. She lets me do whatever I want because she's dead inside. She's chill. <laughs> She's like a corpse with tits. It's awesome. She's chill. I have never, ever wanted to date a man that was chill. Because chill don't pay the bills. A lot of people also often ask me, Allie, what on earth do your parents think about your stand-up comedy? Now, that's a very racially charged question, right? Like what they're really asking is, what do your oppressive Asian parents who beat you with the SAT book until your fingers bled from playing the cello think about your butthole licking jokes? <laughs> My 
My older sister is an unemployed lesbian who lives on my mother's property. <laughs> so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> yes. Whatever I want. I could take a shit on this stage right now. And my mom would be like, you bring so much honor to our family. <laughs> So proud of you, my golden child. <laughs> and then a lot of people also seem to wonder, Allie, now that you have a daughter, are you going to tone it down? <laughs> Here's the thing. Just because you became a parent doesn't mean you grew up. Broy dudes become broy dads. I'm the same piece of shit that I always was before I became a mom. Now just with more responsibility and I'm barely rising to the occasion. My mom doesn't understand. She can't relate to these feelings of wanting to fool around outside of your marriage because she's an immigrant woman who was born in 1940. Her world is a lot smaller than mine. The only men my mother has ever had an actual conversation with are my brother and my dad. That's it. I, on the other hand, have met the entire cast of the Avengers. <laughs> and I want all of them to come on my face. I think I'm going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> Having two C-sections and being the breadwinner of my family has turned me into a 50-year-old man. Будь 